Romeo, what, what kind of chocolate do we have here right now? So on your plate, Steve, we prepared for you our Belgian semi-sweet dark chocolate. It okay. comes at a 54%. Down below, it's followed by really creamy Belgian milk chocolate, 33%, and automatically notes of caramel in there. Followed by our 70% Honduran chocolate. You're going to get some nice earthy notes from that dark chocolate there as well. And then last but not least is from my recent travels to Ecuador. You're going to get a white chocolate there that's going to have some nice grassy tang that comes from the foothill of the Andes. Now, if you go to a sushi restaurant, a lot of times a sushi chef will almost demand that you eat the piece um, in one bite. Just take it all the way down. Does a chocolatier uh, have methods that they prefer their customers to try their wares? There are similar methods for tasting chocolates as well too. Now there's no right or wrong way to enjoy your chocolates. Right. In our shop we really want folks to take their time and linger and really enjoy the flavor profiles. So what we like for folks to do is really to acknowledge the shine first of the chocolate. If you hold this chocolate tasting square piece up to the light, you should see the grooves of the cacao pattern that we put onto there. And so you really want a nice brilliant shine on that chocolate. That informs you that the chocolates are crystallized and well tempered, which is really hard to do here in Long Beach, especially when we have 108 degree summers. <laughs> and so air conditioning is really important. The next thing we're gonna do, Steve, is we're gonna acknowledge the snap of the chocolate. If you bring it up to your ear and just give it a snap in half. Oh. Wow. Perfect. There should be a nice, loud, audible snap that was of that chocolate. Good yeah. indication, again, that the crystals are dancing really wow. nicely That's with the what chocolate. it sounded like, yeah. Absolutely. Next thing that we're going to do, Steve, is we're going to capture the scent. So if you bring that broken piece to your nose, there should be nice, rich cocoa flavors, not overly earthy or bitter, but not overly sweet as well. Those are really the flavor profiles we want to capture in the aroma. Mm -hmm. And then, if you can humor me on the last part, we're going to savor the chocolate. So how we're going to do that is we're going to get that broken piece and we're going to allow it to melt on our palate. As it melts on your palate, you're going to want to pinch your nose and close your eyes. And as it melts almost all the way through, you're going to release your nose, open your eyes, and take a deep breath in as the rest of that chocolate melts. Uh, cheers. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> But I also think too that there's something inherent within chocolate. I mean, it was called food of the gods when it first came out as well too, because there's a quality in chocolate, a chemical compound that naturally just induces bliss. It creates happiness for you. And so with that happiness element, uh, it just creates these great feelings of joy when you uh, treat yourself to chocolate. Um. So the bouquet of the aroma, the mm. flavor of the chocolate, once you release your nose and open your eyes, it actually shoots your brain and forces your brain to register the flavors that you're enjoying. Yeah. And so on there, you get that rich cocoa flavor on there and that right. nice sweetness of that Belgian chocolate. So that's the literal suspension of your senses mm. when you do a chocolate tasting here at our shop. But there's also, uh, Steve, a symbolic suspension. And so whatever stress or distractions you have out there, mm. uh, when you come to our chocolate shop, it's about that mindfulness that moment that you take to suspend any of that and really just take that time to enjoy chocolates with either a glass of wine or a, a glass of beer or a cup of coffee and to just really enjoy the company that you're with here when you come to our shop. That's a good point. I mean, you can't really have chocolate and hurry through it, can you? I mean, it, it can't be something to do. It has to be enjoyed, right? Something that you really take your time with and then linger. You know, I grew up here in, in the Southern California and with my Halloween candy and I would gobble up right away. Here with our treats, you really want to take a moment to just enjoy the flavors here. Yeah, yeah, but speak about that. Like a lot of us, we experience chocolate by the you know dollar candy bar we get. What's the difference between that chocolate and this? I think that's a great question. With the chocolates that we have here, we really are able to trace the ingredients that we have there. So you're not going to see hydrogenated oil in our chocolates. You're not going to see any high fructose corn syrup in our truffles. We really want to make sure we're as true to the ingredients as possible. Some of our best chocolates have only two ingredients. It's just cacao and cane sugar. Wow. The other element too of our chocolates is that we want to make sure that we're certified fair trade from Europe or that I'm actually uh, flying to the countries directly and building those relationships with the farmers.